Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Famous Quotes and Stories of World Celebrities. What I share with you today is the 7,553rd famous saying, Don't speak rashly, speak with reason. This sentence comes from Zhu Xi, a philosopher from the Song Dynasty in China. Before the video starts, I hope you will subscribe and share this channel. Thanks. Don't speak carelessly, speak with reason. This sentence is the crystallization of the wisdom of Zhu Xi, a Chinese philosopher from the Song Dynasty. As an outstanding Neo-Confucianist, Zhu Xi's philosophical thoughts had a profound impact on both ancient and modern Chinese society. The philosophy contained in this sentence is not only a norm for people's words and deeds, but also a wise summary of social interactions. This article will illustrate the connotation and value of Zhu Xi's words by citing one or more stories. In the distant spring and autumn period, the story of Confucius and his disciples can well explain Zhu Xi's words. One day, Zilu, a student of Confucius, asked Confucius, Teacher, what kind of person can be called a gentleman? Confucius replied, A gentleman's words must be well founded and his actions must have results. He does not speak rashly and does not act rashly. This story is similar to Zhu Xi's point of view. They all emphasize the importance of words and deeds, as well as the justification and rationality of words and deeds. Don't speak rashly means that when we make remarks or express our opinions, we must think carefully to ensure that what we say is well-founded and reasonable. We cannot speak freely and make unfounded and unreasonable remarks at will. Because such rash words and deeds will not only mislead others, but may also have a negative impact on yourself. Zhu Xi advocated a responsible speech attitude, which is also the quality that a gentleman should have. What we say must be justified requires us to follow the laws and principles of things when we express our opinions. Speeches must be consistent with the actual situation and must not violate facts or moral ethics. This is a restriction and requirement on the content of our speech, which embodies Zhu Xi's pragmatist philosophical thought. In real life, we often encounter situations where we need to apply the principle of don't speak rashly and speak with reason. For example, in the workplace, when we communicate with colleagues and leaders, we can only win the respect and trust of others by ensuring that our words are well-founded. In academia, when scholars publish research results, they need to ensure that what they say is true in order to maintain academic rigor and authority. In the field of public opinion, public figures or the media must also follow this principle when speaking out, because they have greater influence. Once they speak insincerely or untrue, it may lead to serious social consequences. Zhu Xi's words also have guiding significance for personal cultivation. A person's words and deeds can often reflect his character and cultivation. A person who is consistent in his words and deeds can often win the respect and trust of others. And a person who talks freely and does not match his words and deeds will find it difficult to gain a foothold in society. Therefore, we should always keep in mind the principle of, don't speak rashly, speak with reason, use it to guide our words and deeds, and improve our personal cultivation. At the same time, this sentence also reflects a kind of prudence and wisdom in traditional Chinese culture. In ancient Chinese society, people attached great importance to the influence of words and deeds, believing that a person's words and deeds could determine his fate. Therefore, people are always very careful when making remarks to ensure that their words can withstand the test of time and history. This kind of prudence and wisdom deserves to be carried forward in our social interactions today. To sum up, don't speak rashly, speak with reason, is Zhu Xi's famous saying, which embodies the wisdom and prudence in traditional Chinese culture. This sentence is not only a norm for our words and deeds, but also a wise summary of social interactions. We should always keep this sentence in mind, use it to guide our words and deeds, and improve our personal cultivation and social influence. At the same time, we should also pass on this wisdom so that more people can understand and appreciate the profoundness of Chinese traditional culture. Okay, this time the video is shared with you. Everyone is welcome to subscribe, like, share and leave comments. Thank you all. See you later.